welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators, GSR 24, being held here in Kampala in Uganda. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio now by Mr. Bokaba, who is the CEO of the Samina Telecommunications Council, as well as being chair of IAGDICRO, which is the Industry Advisory Group on Development Issues and Private Sector Chief Regulatory Officers Meeting. There we go. Uh, welcome to the studio, Bokaba. Thank you very much for welcoming me. Thank you for the invitation. And it's great to see you here. Now, participating in GSR 24 is one of the key benefits, uh, as you know, of being an ITUD sector member. Why is participating in this unique platform for discussions important to Samina? It's important to Samina, you mentioned two things. Uh, participation to this platform. The part platform is extremely important. We have to remember what happened in 2017 when member states, regulators, policy makers, through Resolution 71 that you know very well, invited the private sector to contribute and identify the digital development impediment. So private sector as an investor, we need favorable regulation, we need flexible regulation, and we are being invited by the key stakeholders, the regulators, to join them, therefore to contribute, number two, to share our experience, and also to provide recommendation as such joining this platform, being a part of it, I'm not saying is extremely important. It should be mandatory for advancing our business. I couldn't agree more. And now, regulation for impact is the theme of GSR this year. Uh, in your opinion, what role does industry play in, in the conversation with regulators, peers and other digital stakeholders? You mentioned a regulation for impact. And this is the right time to talk about impact of regulation. We've been doing for so many years technical regulation, consumer regulation for protecting the citizen. And now with the rapid development of innovation, of course, we need regulation. Now, in terms of accelerating the transformation, the digit, sustainable digital transformation, there is no way we can have a discussion without highlighting the impact. So it's, it's very important in our discourse, in our narrative, of course, we advocate for better progressive regulation, but at the same time, to understand the scale of what is going to happen tomorrow for this digital development, we must discuss about the impact. So regulation for impact is important. And in all our contribution, we explain the objective, we explain the mechanic, what instrument are we going to be using for shaping the regulation. But at the end, demonstration has to end by the impact. So regulation for impact is a very well-chosen theme for this GSR. I'm just going to jump in here. I mentioned, of course, your CEO of the Samina Telecommunications Council, but you're also chair of IAGDICRO. And perhaps, you know, for those who are not familiar with it, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what that does. Yes, the, it's the Industry Advisory Group for Development Issue, Chief Regulatory Officer Meeting. This platform uh, that we had launched, it was existing before, but it has been institutionalized by the Resolution 71. Our role is to report to the uh, ITUD uh, leadership, also to member states, what have we as an industry identified uh, in terms of uh, impediment, obstacle, uh, issues to be provided and to feed the subject discussion of the GSR. Therefore, when we look at the meeting that we are having, that we had this morning, we had most, it's a diversified multi-stakeholder platform, private sector, including academia, but we had the MNO, we have the space segment, we have the internet company, the technology providers, and each and every one from his standpoint is coming with his contribution. And now uh, we are welcoming also as observer member states and regulators, and we start engaging a constructive dialogue. So we are no more in the mood of having animosity between government and private sector. Now this EACD platform becomes almost a platform of exchange, of dialogue, that will feed the GSR best, best practices at the uh, closing ceremony. 
Fabulous. And coming back to Samina, uh, could, perhaps you could just elaborate a little bit on the value of Samina being part of the ITD, ITUD sector membership community and how it's supporting and shaping the future of digital development. Well, of course, uh, Samina, uh, by default, is supporting and advocating for the private sector at large in the Arab region, but now almost globally because we inspire each other from one geography to another. But at the same time, we became a sector development partner for governments and member states. As such, today, it's very important when we identify uh, some uh, digital development hurdles, impediment, problem, or we foresee, it's important to have it on the agenda of discussion. So, two things as a takeaway. Number one, we have to ensure that we are discussing around the, the, the proper agenda for the future. And number two, we need to align priorities between government and private sector. So we have our priorities, they have their priorities, but we can only create an impact if, number one, we align our priority, we have the, theme, the thematic discussion on the agenda, then we can start engaging into this constructive dialogue. Well, Kabai, it's been a pleasure having you in the studio, as always. Thank you very much for joining us, and, and we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Pleasure is mine. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then why not check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels. And for further information, why not visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>